The 20th century ushered in an era of women's empowerment, breaking traditional barriers and granting women the opportunity to pursue diverse careers and contribute significantly across various sectors. This transformative period marked a paradigm shift as women, previously confined to limited roles, seized the chance to shape their destinies, making strides in fields from science and business to politics and the arts. But how did women navigate and contribute to the historically male-dominated domain of the U.S. Navy and from their perceived limitations, what roles did women play in shaping its history? What are their limitations today, if any? Well, in this video, we will journey down the history of women in the U.S. Navy, exploring their challenges past and present, their triumphs, and the crucial impact women have had on one of the most formidable branches of the military. So make sure to watch it till the end, because you won't want to miss any of it. Early Pioneers Before being formally included in conventional roles as sailors in the U.S. Navy, women served in various capacities, particularly as nurses. The American Civil War saw women actively working as nurses for the Union Navy, notably Anne Bradford Stokes, who served as a nurse on the Navy hospital ship USS Red Rover during the Civil War, was granted a pension of $1.12 per month becoming the first American woman to receive a military pension for her service. The U.S. Navy Nurse Corps was officially established in 1908, an all-female corps until 1965. This milestone was marked by the selection of 20 women, known as the Sacred 20, who were the first members of the Navy Nurse Corps. Despite facing challenges such as lack of gender-appropriate accommodations, these trailblazing women, including Mary H. DuBose, Lena H. Sutcliffe Higby, and Esther Voorhees Hassan paved the way for future generations. The Nurse Corps gradually expanded, reaching 160 members on the eve of World War I, during which Navy nurses had their first shipboard service aboard Mayflower and Dolphin in 1913. World War I During World War I, the expansion of the U.S. Navy created a demand for clerical and administrative support, leading to the enlistment of women in various positions. Authorized by the U.S. Naval Reserve Act of 1916, the Navy welcomed its first female sailors into the U.S. Naval Reserve. Loretta Perfectus Walsh, enlisting on March 17, 1917, made history as the first American active duty Navy woman and the first woman allowed to serve beyond nursing roles. Sworn in as Chief Yeoman on March 21, 1917, Walsh became the first woman U.S. Navy Petty Officer. Women serving as yeomen played vital roles during World War I, fulfilling positions such as radio operators, electricians, draftsmen, pharmacists, photographers, telegraphers, fingerprint experts, chemists, torpedo assemblers, and camouflage designers. Notably, some black women served as yeomen, marking the first enlistment of black women in the U.S. Armed Forces. After the war's conclusion, all women in the Navy were released from active duty. World War II and onwards. World War II marked a significant juncture for women in the U.S. Navy, with the establishment of WAVES, women appointed for voluntary emergency service. Created to meet wartime demands, WAVES allowed women to serve in non-combat roles, contributing to the war effort in clerical, communication, and technical positions. As World War II concluded in 1945, the Women's Armed Services Integration Act of 1948 paved the way for women to serve as permanent regular members of the armed forces, breaking the wartime-only restriction. However, Section 502 of the Act limited women's service by excluding them from combat roles on Navy aircraft and vessels. During the Korean War, women in the Naval Reserve were recalled for duty alongside their male counterparts. While in the Vietnam War, nurses served aboard the hospital ship USS Sanctuary. Enlisted Navy women were not authorized for service in the combat zones. This period highlighted evolving roles for women in the military, with limitations persisting in certain operational capacities. Major changes and achievements. The 1970s marked a transformative era for women in the U.S. Navy, witnessing groundbreaking changes and achievements. Notably, Aline Duarc made history by becoming the first female admiral in the Navy in 1972, 
breaking through gender barriers and paving the way for future female leaders. The 1970s also saw a significant expansion of roles for women, with increased opportunities in aviation and surface warfare. Women gained access to officer accession programs that were previously exclusive to men, leading to a more inclusive and diverse composition within the Navy. These changes not only symbolized progress, but also laid the foundation for further advancements in the decades to come. Surface warfare and combat ships. The landscape of women's roles in the U.S. Navy underwent transformative changes, particularly in surface warfare and combat ships. In 1972, a pioneering pilot program was initiated for the assignment of officers and enlisted women to the USS Sanctuary, AH-17. This marked an early effort to integrate women into positions on a naval vessel, a crucial step toward expanding their contributions beyond traditional roles. Subsequently, in 1993, a significant breakthrough occurred with the approval for women to serve on combat ships. Approximately 33 women were assigned to sea billets, representing a pivotal moment in naval history. This marked a departure from historical restrictions, allowing women to actively participate in roles essential to the Navy's combat capabilities. The approval in 1993 not only reflected the evolving perspectives on gender roles within the military, but also paved the way for increased opportunities for women in various operational capacities within the U.S. Navy. Recent Developments the narrative of women in the United States Navy continues to evolve, reflecting significant developments in recent decades. From 2003 to 2011, women played essential roles in the Iraq War, contributing their skills and expertise to various aspects of the mission. In 2015, a historic announcement opened all combat jobs to women, a major stride toward gender equality within the military. The progress extended to aviation, with notable achievements such as the appointment of the first female helicopter plane captain and naval aviator, highlighting the increasing diversification of roles within the Navy. As of 2020, women constituted a significant portion of the Navy's active duty personnel, with 20% of the force being female. However, challenges persisted, as no woman had yet become a Navy SEAL as of 2023. Despite this, Milestones were achieved in 2021, when the first woman graduated from the Naval Special Warfare Training Program, earning the title of a Special Warfare Combatant Craft Crewman, SWCC. This role directly supports elite units like the SEALs, showcasing the expanding opportunities for women in special operations. The momentum of progress continued in 2023 with Admiral Lisa Franchetti making history as the first woman to lead the Navy and join the Joint Chiefs of Staff reaffirming the Navy's commitment to inclusivity and recognizing the leadership potential of women in the highest echelons of military command. Submarine integration, a significant milestone in the integration of women into the U.S. Navy, occurred in 2010 with a policy change that allowed women to serve on Navy submarines. This transformative shift marked the end of a long-standing restriction and opened the door for women to contribute their skills and expertise in this traditionally male domain. Following the policy change, the first group of female submariners, comprising up to 24 officers, began their journey by completing nuclear power school, a crucial step in preparing for service on submarines. This historic moment showcased the dedication and capability of these trailblazing women, who not only excelled in their training, but also shattered barriers by officially reporting on board ballistic and guided missile submarines in November 2011. The integration of women into submarine crews continued to progress, with the first enlisted female sailor earning her submarine qualification in August 2016. Carriers and Recruitment Standards As of 2024, women in the Navy are eligible to serve in all ratings, marking a significant shift in the recruitment landscape. In recent years, there has been a notable evolution in policies and standards governing the inclusion of women in various roles. Crucial elements of naval operations have opened their doors to female sailors, reflecting the Navy's commitment to diversity and equality. The grooming standards for women in the Navy emphasize professionalism, with guidelines on hairstyles, cosmetics, tattoos, and jewelry. 
These standards ensure a neat, uniform appearance while allowing for individual expression within specified limits. Additionally, the health and fitness standards, assessed through the Physical Fitness Assessment PFA, play a pivotal role in evaluating sailors' readiness. The PFA includes a Body Composition Assessment BCA, and a Physical Readiness Test PRT, tailored to different standards for male and female sailors. This comprehensive approach ensures that women in the Navy meet the physical requirements essential for their roles, fostering a capable and resilient force. So, what are your views on this? Do you think the opening of the Navy to women in all fields is a positive step for the Navy? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Do consider liking and subscribing to the channel.